Hey guys, it's your girl Vanessa here. Welcome back to another video. I'm super super excited to bring to you guys today's recipe. It is an amazing high growth conditioner that can add to your regimen to minimize breakage, help with dry flaky scalp and essentially just help to promote healthy and faster high growth so if you are interested you definitely want to make sure that you keep on watching and i'll suggest you watch till the end of the video so you get to see all of the steps on how to make it and also instructions on how to use it and before you get into the video i just want to say a huge thank you if you are a returning subscriber i really appreciate the support guys and if you're new here please consider clicking the subscribe button to join the family now let's hop right into the video so to begin with you are going to need one overripe banana so when your banana is really ripe like this guys don't throw it away keep it for your diy it is super super amazing on the hair banana helps to soothe and irritate the scalp it also helps to get rid of dandruff and essentially the major cause of dandruff in most people is essentially dry scalp um, so banana on your scalp can help to nourish it and get rid of that flakiness which essentially will give you a healthy scalp which is a good environment for your hair to grow now banana also helps to moisturize the hair and improves its elasticity so it prevents the hair from breaking so you chop uh, cut your banana into smaller pieces and pop it in the little bowl next we'll be going in with some aloe vera now aloe vera again super amazing it helps with an itchy scalp it promotes hair growth it also also helps to deeply moisturize the, your hair strands which in turn help to prevent breakage and basically make your hair a lot more manageable as well so i'm using this quantity of aloe vera guys for one banana now if you're using more bananas consider increasing the amount of aloe vera so you want to go ahead and wash it off first and then you cut the sharp edges using a knife remove the flesh of the aloe vera and just pop it in the same bowl in which we have the banana Is your baby not a remix? Yeah. Todas tus amigas say you miss me, girl. Tú necesitamos algún día si feeling. Yeah. Ay, sonríe tú, pero el feliz soy yo. Este es porque me bautice. Now once that's all nicely combined, we're going to go ahead and use a hand blender so we can blend this properly. You can also use a regular blender if that's what you've got available. But make sure that you blend it really well until you get a sort of nice and smooth kind of texture. Next, we're going to go ahead and strain it. So to strain, I will be using a recap. Um, but again, feel free to use any other thing you may have available. So it could be a cheesecloth or... I don't know um, a kitchen towel or whatever it is that you have that works really it's important that you do not skip this process guys no matter how smooth you think you blended it you still need to go ahead and strain it otherwise you will have debris of banana and aloe vera stuck in your hair and trust me when I tell you it takes a really long time to get it out of your hair completely and it will essentially be so much headache for you to eventually get all of it out of your hair so make sure you strain it really well i'm going to show you guys the pop uh, in a little bit so you can see exactly what i'm talking about so this is the pop guys you want to go ahead and get rid of that and that's what i was saying earlier about straining it is very important otherwise you will have that stuck in your hair next we're going in here with some yogurt so i'm using greek yogurt here um, but feel free to use any other natural yogurt of your choice. Yogurt is super great for hair. It helps to cleanse the scalp. It clears away dead skin cells. And it also helps to stimulate hair follicles for hair growth. Now, apart from that, it also contains um, protein, which is the main um, sort of component that our hair is made of. It's made of a protein called keratin. And the stronger that protein is, the less likely our hair is to break. Next, I'm going in here with about three tablespoons of my aloe vera hair growth oil. I've got this available on my website, guys. So if you're interested, definitely don't forget to check the website. I will link it in the description box below. Next, we're going in with some honey. 
Honey is a natural humectant and emollient, so it helps to keep the hair very really nice and moisturized, and also it draws the atmosphere, the uh, moisture from the atmosphere into your hair. So that essentially keeps your hair moisturized for a prolonged period of, period of time, which is essentially what you want when it comes to you know growing healthy long hair. So after that's all nice and combined guys, you want to go ahead and stir it really well until you have a homogeneous kind of mixture and that's kind of pretty much it. So it can take a little bit of time to do this because of the Greek yogurt being a bit lumpy but with a bit of patience you will get it nice and smooth and I'm going to show you what I mean in just a little bit. Or if you don't want to spend time doing this, just get your uh, blender and your hand blender and just give it a little blend so that it can mix a lot easily. But this is what we have after it's all nicely mixed. You can see it's quite nice and smooth and it also has the right texture for a treatment. You don't want your treatment to be too watery otherwise it will just, you know, just slip off your hair. Um, so this kind of texture is just perfect now in this part of the video i'm going to show you how you can apply it to your hair and just talk a little bit about how often um, you can use this as well to help with hair growth now you guys probably have seen this clip in my previous video um, again while i was showing you another hair treatment um, because it's the same way that you would apply it i just thought i would just take this clip and just put it in here for you guys and just talk about how you can use it essentially so my hair right now is currently washed but not conditioned um, so I'm just using this as a deep conditioning treatment just to restore the moisture back in my hair and also give my hair the strength that it needs essentially. Now I'll suggest you apply it to clean hair guys but if your hair is not you know clean let's say you've washed your hair maybe like a week ago and you need to do this treatment it's fine just go ahead and use it um in fact i do deep condition my hair once every week so my hair is not necessarily you know shampooed at that time and it still works works quite well but the reason why it's always better to apply on clean fresh hair is because your follicles are cleared up your pores are cleared up and essentially the treatment can really penetrate your hair um, a lot easily that way but again it can do the same if your hair is not like really really dirty so the way that I work on my hair is pretty much the same every single time so I always work in sections just because it's easier and also it just helps to you know minimize tangos and unnecessary breakage essentially so always work in sections guys it makes it a lot easier to manage so apply it to a section of the hair apply it to your ends as well because obviously that is the oldest and driest part of your hair and that's the part that really needs a lot of care if your your goal is to retain length um so apply it there too and then essentially i'll do like a little twist and then the banting knot so that it doesn't dry out as i work on the next section then i'll repeat until the rest of the hair is completely done so it's pretty simple now the way you um you will be using this or how often you'll be using this will be perhaps every time that you need to deep condition your hair so it could be once every week or once every other week or you can even use it once in three weeks depending on what you are looking to achieve so if you are looking to just have your hair regularly moisturized and the moisture to stay in it i would suggest that you use it once a week but obviously if you're using it as but you can use it as a as a conditioner after shampooing your hair once every three weeks or once every four weeks it really just depends on you now bear in mind that this has protein so if your hair is protein sensitive then you want to make sure that you do a test first before you apply it throughout the rest of your hair because you don't want to have a protein overload which is just as bad as having dry hair because it is going to break your hair so badly so make sure that you do a test um, and just see how your hair reacts to it before you apply it throughout your hair but generally it's quite good at repairing damaged hair anyways and giving your hair the thickness and strength that it needs and also give it the moisture that it needs to thrive so this brings me to the end of the video i hope that you guys have enjoyed watching and if you did don't forget to thumbs up also please subscribe to the channel if you're not ready i would really appreciate that don't forget to share the video also with your friend your family or someone you believe could benefit from the video and i'll catch you next time bye